Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on Cisco's internetworking operating system. In this lesson, let us look into the network architectures, wireless access, and troubleshooting of Cisco's internetwork. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe network architectures for small office, home office, and small to medium-sized businesses. Explain considerations for wireless access to a network. Follow a frame or a packet through an internetwork for troubleshooting purposes. Let us first look at network architecture in the next slide. Network architecture refers to the way devices are connected to form a network. This is not the same as network topology. Topology refers to a specific network's layout. Architecture refers to the general approach to designing a network. Different business requirements dictate different network architecture. For small office home office, SOHO environments, the architecture is simpler than in enterprise environments. There may be an all-purpose device instead of a separate router, switch, and firewall. For example, for home use, most routers are really a router and a switch combined. There is less redundancy, which makes configuring, maintaining, and troubleshooting the network simpler. Usually, one subnet is used for all devices, and static routes are used for routing. There is no full-time network administrator. In the next slide, let us look into small office, home office architecture. Here it is seen that there is no longer one all-purpose device. The switch and router functions are separated. As the number of network devices increase, a router no longer provides enough interfaces to connect them all. Therefore, a switch is implemented. The router uses firewall software. In this architecture, a standalone firewall device is normally not deployed. Note that in the figure on the slide, there are two connections to the Internet, one through a tunnel and one straight to the Internet. This does not mean that there must be two physical connections to the Internet. This separation can be implemented with software. Let us continue our discussion on small to medium-sized business architecture. The characteristics of a small to medium-sized business architecture are as follows. Depending on the business, there may be a site-to-site -site VPN that encrypts traffic between this business and its suppliers and or customers. There are varied types of traffic on the network. Network management and or monitoring software is installed to monitor the status of the devices and traffic. Wireless access can be implemented in any architecture. In the next slide, let us look at how wireless access works.